Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a BHA exfoliating acid serum or so-called solution. Now BHA stands for beta hydroxy acid which in cosmetics refers to salicylic acid. And salicylic acid can help you to deeply unclog your pores to regulate your oiliness and gently exfoliate the skin. Now when working with a BHA exfoliant what's important to keep in mind is doing a patch test before applying it all over your face then adjust the routine accordingly to when you're going to use it and the frequency. Now, if you're being new to salicylic acid, what's important to do is that you're going to do a patch test on your upper forearm before applying it all over your face at night to see if any sensitivity occurs. If you want to know how you can do a proper patch test, I have a video for you in the top right corner. Just switch that specific exfoliant with the one that you have at home and still follow the same guides. And then after that, if everything went well, then you can include it in your skincare routine. Now, when working with a BHA exfoliating acid serum or solution, you can use it in the morning and or evening. And depending on when you're using it, you have to adjust it so that you can make it work and at the same time protect the skin because we're working with an exfoliant. So what's important to do when planning on using your BHA exfoliating acid serum or solution during daytime? Well, the following. First of all, you're going to get started with washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. In that specific case, since you're planning on using your BHA in that same routine, please make sure to work with a gentle cleanser, not an exfoliating acid cleanser. So if you have a specific salicylic acid cleanser at home or lactic acid or glycolic acid cleanser at home, then please switch it to a gentle cleanser when using your BHA. And I'm not talking about cleansers where you see right at the very, very bottom that they include salicylic, lactic or glycolic acid because this is often being used to balance the pH. I'm talking about if you can see it right on the like like front rows of the ingredients list because then they usually use a higher percentage of it and so if that should be the case with your exfoliating acid cleanser that you have at home switch it to a gentle cleanser make sure that it works well for your skin type and your needs it should be able during daytime to remove any excess oil dirt and sweat from the skin but at the same time should not irritate your skin nor your skin should feel dry afterwards so please keep this in mind and then after that, once you're done with washing your face with a suitable and gentle cleanser for your skin type and needs, you're going to move on to your BHA exfoliating acid serums or solution applied to the skin. And then after that, either follow with a moisturizer that already includes SPF or follow with just with a regular sunscreen afterwards, which works well for your skin type so that it feels comfortable on the skin and yet you can protect the skin during daytime. Since we are working with an exfoliant that can make the skin sensitive to the sun, therefore sun protection during daytime, doesn't matter if you're using your BHA during daytime or not, is important. So don't forget your sunscreen. When it comes to your evening routine, again, you're going to adjust it. So again, first step is going to be washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. In that specific case, if you have worn makeup or sunscreen throughout the day and it's a bit more difficult to remove, please adjust your cleanser to a cleanser that is able to break down your sunscreen and makeup and then any excess oil dirt and sweat from the skin so that you will have a freshly washed and clean face. Again, if you're planning on using your BHA in your evening routine, stick to a gentle cleanser, not an exfoliating acid cleanser. After that, move on to your BHA, apply to the skin, and then if you should feel the need, you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards, but it's just like an optional step depending on your skin type and needs. If you are deciding on using a moisturizer afterwards, make sure that it works well for your skin type and your needs. And this is basically how you can use your BHA during daytime, if that should be the case, and how you can use it in your evening routine. But still, if you're only planning on using your BHA in your evening routine, you still need to make sure that you're washing your face in the morning as well as using sunscreen afterwards. So those two steps are still important to do the next day when waking up and also planning on being exposed to the sun. So sun protection is key. It doesn't matter when you're going to use your BHA exfoliate. And then when working with a BHA exfoliant, the frequency is something that I recommend keeping in mind. 
The frequency can be different for everyone. This depends on your skin type, your needs and your tolerance. And of course, basically on the formulation of your salicylic acid solution. So my best advice would be as a general guide, start off by using it once per day, two to three times per week. Do this for like a couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks to see how this frequency will work for your skin. And if you should feel the need, you can always increase the frequency over time and adjust it. If you want to know more about how you can properly increase the frequency over time, what steps you can go forward after that, I have a specific video for you in the top right corner, which I recommend checking out if you want to know more about it. Because we want to make sure that it works well for your skin and that it does not lead to irritation. So once you understand the patch test, when you're going to use it and how you're going to adjust your routine to it and the frequency, I'm now ready to get into the application. So again, doesn't matter if you're using it in the morning and or evening, the first step is going to remain the same. And this is going to be washing your face with a suitable and gentle cleanser for your skin type and needs. Now I'm going to use, I'm basically going to demonstrate a morning routine because I do want to emphasize that sunscreen is really important. But just in case to give you an idea of what cleansers you can use, I have two examples right here. I have Cetaphil's Gentle Foaming Cleanser, which is great for normal dry combination skin. If you have oily skin, use a cleanser that works well for your oily skin type. This would be an example of a gentle daily cleanser that can help you to remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. Another example, which you can use, for example, in the evening to break down your sunscreen and makeup, if you have worn it throughout the day, would be the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is great for all skin types, but it is a balm cleanser that does not irritate the skin nor dry out the skin, yet is effective to break everything down so that you will end up with a freshly washed and clean face. So those are just two examples. If you have a different cleanser at home, go ahead and stick to that one if it works well for you. Just make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you're going to use your cleanser since the directions may change depending on the cleanser that you're using. And I'm going to show you how you can wash your face above the sink. However, if you prefer to take your cleanser with you in the shower, go ahead and do so. This is very convenient as well. Now, with the cleanser that I'm using in this example, I have to apply it on wet skin. So the first step that I'm going to do is now wetting my face and neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water and then apply the cleanser to my face. So let's do this. Then go ahead and take your cleanser and use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount. Or if you're using a foaming cleanser as I do, then you may need to take about three to four pumps. Use it between your hands and gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. So, and once you're done with massaging it all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. In case you should have troubles removing your cleanser from the skin so that you won't have a residue left, you can go ahead and use a fresh washcloth and soft cloth, which you can wet and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So, and now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So, and once you're done with washing your face, you now can go ahead and immediately move on to the next step, which is now applying your salicylic acid serum or so-called solution to your face. Now, if you have a salicylic acid serum at home that comes with a pipette, use between two to three drops. If the texture is a bit thinner, you may want to add a couple of drops more so that you can evenly apply it over your face and neck. 
However, if you have a salicylic acid zone at home that comes with a pump, use between one to two pumps. And if you have a salicylic acid zone or so-called solution at home where you cannot really count your drops, then use about a coin size amount either in the palm of your hand or in a cotton pad and then gently apply it all over your face and neck. So depending on the dispenser of your salicylic acid product, you need to adjust it. If you have, for example, a salicylic acid solution that's very thin in texture, which has a wide opening as well, where it's difficult to count your drops, then you can go ahead and also apply it with a cotton pad. If you're going to apply your salicylic acid zero solution with a cotton pad, make sure that you're not going to soak it up entirely because this is going to be way too much product that you're going to apply to the skin, which may also lead to irritation. So if you're using it with a cotton pad, use about a coin size amount so that it feels slightly damp when swiping it across your face. However, if you're using it in the palm of your hand, you usually need less product as if you would use it on a cotton pad. So with this one, you can count the drops. If you're going to pour it out very slowly, then I recommend using between five to six drops. However, if you cannot really count it, use about a coin size amount, but make sure that you're not going to use too much. You should be able to apply it all over your face and neck. It should be able to absorb into the skin and not sit on top of the skin. And so therefore, how much you're going to use of your BHA exfoliant is important. Otherwise, it may feel straight on the skin, it feels uncomfortable, sticky or tight on the skin and may lead to irritation. So then use it between the palm of your hands and then evenly apply it all over your face as well as neck. And you can use it on the eye contour, just make sure to not use it on top of the eyelids. Please do not get it into your eyes, nor use it on top of your lips, nor get it into your mouth. If that should be the case, please rinse it immediately with water. Now the way on how you're going to blend it all over your face and neck depends on your preference. You can go ahead and evenly blend it all over or depending on the texture of your zone, you can also go ahead and pat it into the skin. If that works best for you, go ahead and do so. That's fine as well. And then just make sure that you can evenly cover the entire area, but at the same time, it should be able to absorb into the skin. So, and once you have applied it all over, then give it 30 seconds to a minute so it has time to absorb into the skin and you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. When working with leave-on exfoliating acid, BHA serums or solutions, those are leave-on solutions, which means you're going to leave them on the skin. So if you're going to apply it in the evening, you're going to leave it on the skin for the entire night and basically washing it off the next day when washing your face anyway. If you're using it during daytime, you apply it in the morning, leave it on the skin for the entire day and then rinse it off in the evening when washing your face anyway. So this is what I mean by leaving it on the skin, do not wash it off. And if this is going to be your evening routine, and depending on your skin type, you just want to cleanse your face, use your BHA serum or solution, and then basically leave it as it is. Now you do not have to use a moisturizer afterwards in your evening skincare routine, only if you should feel the need and depending on your skin type. And then when using now a moisturizer afterwards, then use about a pea size amount, more or less, and evenly apply it all over your face and neck, basically on top of your salicylic acid solution and that would be the last step in your evening skincare routine. In the evening is no sunscreen needed but you can add a moisturizer afterwards if you should feel the need. However, when using your BHA either in the evening or in the morning, one thing won't change and this is sun protection. So it doesn't matter if you're using a moisturizer with SPF or if you're just using a suitable sunscreen that's working well for your skin type, does not irritate nor dry out the skin nor makes your skin like overly shiny or oily if you have an oily skin type, then keep an eye on the sunscreen that you're using. Then you probably do not really want to look for a moisturizer with SPF, but you want to look for something that can help you to control the oiliness a bit more and maybe give you a matte finish at the same time. So choosing your moisturizer with SPF or regular sunscreen is important so that it feels comfortable on the skin yet protects the skin. And again, you can either use a moisturizer with SPF or a regular sunscreen. 
one thing that won't change is the way on how you are going to apply it and how much you're going to use. So for your moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen, use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon for your face, neck and further down to your decolletage if that's being exposed to the sun as well to not only protect the skin from like getting sun damaged skin or premature aging or a sunburn, but we are also working with an exfoliant. Therefore, the sun protection is really important during daytime. Apply your sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use an SPF of 15 or greater if you're being somewhat exposed to the sun. However, if you're being exposed to the sun for like several hours, you're doing outdoor activities and you're working outdoors, then it is important to work with an SPF of 30 or greater to protect the skin. If you have sweat a lot, if you maybe went for a swim, you have done a uh, workout or outdoor activities where the sunscreen can move around or wear off, then reapplying your sunscreen becomes extremely important so that you can keep the protection going. And again, you only need sun protection during daytime, in the evening is no sunscreen needed. And so I'm going to use now Anessa's whitening sunscreen, which is basically great for all skin types. And I'm going to use a teaspoon next to it so that you can see how much you would need to use when applying it for your face, neck, and maybe decolletage as well. So about half a teaspoon for your face and neck, about a teaspoon if you want to blend it further down. And so I'm giving it a good shake. And then I'm going to use my teaspoon as a helper so that you can remember how much you're going to use. You can do this a couple of times in the very beginning. And once you remember how much this is going to be, you do not need to use a teaspoon anymore. And just pour it in the palm of your hand. So about that much. Then use it in the palm of your hand. and then evenly apply it all over your face, neck, and maybe decolletage. So now once you have applied your sunscreen all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now if you want to see the example routines again in your own time, I'm going to link them in the description box down below so that you can use them as a guide. If you enjoyed them, if you find them helpful, then go ahead and use them. And this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can properly use a BHA or so-called salicylic acid serum or exfoliating acid solution in your skincare routine. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. And if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare. Bye.